Yo. What's up? It's not, let's not noita ourselves today, I think. I think that would be best. There's a seed that Lim found, Lim being a very prominent member in the noita community, uh, the eyes rooms, and uh, made a Python script to find the locations of all the eyes in a, in each seed in a particular seed. So, if you would like the link to that, if anyone... I'll mention it a few times throughout the session. But yeah, it's pretty huge. Gonzo uploaded it to GitHub. And so now, we know exactly where to find the eyes in any seed. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna... Like, how much that will help. But it's definitely... It's not a bad thing. Definitely a good thing. Hey, what's up? No one is the one. How you doing? Hope you're having a great day. Come on. I'm just trying to do this. Save myself a bomb. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so this seed... Nice. Ooh. Pretty decent. This seed has all of the eyes next to each other. I think it's, I don't know exactly where they were. The coordinates are like 20,000 something, but it's a seed that Lim found. And it, uh, I think it's right next to Hills 2 up there. Someplace, obviously, to the east. Uh, they're all right next to each other or above each other. None of them are superimposed, I think, which I prefer for this right now. But all of the eye locations are just, like, right there. It's crazy. So you can just drop down and see them all. All right. Let's get... I guess we have water here. Hmm. It's probably not the best wand. But... And then Basilisk. Yesterday I played a bunch of this game, Basilisk, which is uh, like a game inside. It's like a first person dungeon crawler with horror elements inside of a, uh, a game editor. So if you're into game design, game uh, dev, it's definitely an interesting game for that. But also just it's filled with secrets and hidden lore and everything. And it was great. And there's also like a, there's a password protected zip file when you download, you download it from itch, Basilisk 2000. There's a password protected zip file that has an SNES ROM inside of it. And the ROM basically it connects to the, connects to that game to give you more, more hints, more lore, more secrets, whatever. Um, all right. And what was here? What broke? Well, who knows? Maybe oil? Fire? Concentrated mana. That looks good. Tasty. All right. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, so this seed... We're going to do the alchemy stuff on this seed. I looked up the alchemy recipes. They're not that bad. Not that difficult. But, well, hopefully we're going to do this. Let me just, let's not. Let me just say, 
We're just doing stuff for now. <laughs> yeah, it's yesterday. I was continuing the alchemy run yesterday on the seed that had like, I think LC recipe was uh, snow, blood, and oil. Something like that. And uh, the AP recipe was snow, water, and oil. Oh, hey. Hmm. Okay. And we had a good run going. Good early run with some good stuff. And then I completely just cast, used the wrong wand and ate a face full of plasma. It was l l absolutely wonderful. <laughs> it's like all of a sudden I'm like, uh, it was five minutes something or maybe maybe 20 minutes after I started yesterday. Dude. But like I said, that's usually how things go with me. Like when continuing a run, the first first half hour, especially, are like the danger zone. If I'm continuing a run from another day, it's like I better watch out the, that first 30 minutes. I should just like. Be real careful, just chat. <laughs> uh, I'll take that. Nice. Alright. You know what? I'm not going to use the bomb. So we got that, water, and bombs. Okay, that's good for now. I'm going to keep this wand nice and fast. Hopefully we can find some tablet. I could find a a <laughs> a uh, teleport bolt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope there's not. Okay, there's nothing in there that's a. Uh... Wait, what is in here? Oh, it's one of these, okay. Dynamite. Yes, we will replace that. Beautiful. Is that right at the bottom? Not really, okay. We got room. <clears throat> oh man, well, goodbye gold. I'm not going in there. Maybe I can. Later. It's probably all going to be molten. And we might be able to get to it. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Wonder where my ghost went. And hopefully it doesn't have anything. Really bad. If it had a parallel world travel wand right now. What's up, Wote? I have a few of those, or at least two of my bones corpses are parallel world wands, so hey, if I got one of those right now, that would be that would be nice. We're not speedrunning or anything, so I don't care. I would totally use that wand right now. Most of the bones, most of my bones holder is filled with like crappy wands from speedrunning, though. Especially lately. Because that's my late night ritual is like, you know, just running through Noita a million times sometimes. Not a million, but. How you doing, Wot? Welcome. All right. That was amazing. Amazing. Here, take that. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Muha ha ha. Ten seven. Yes, it is. Okay. Um. Let's see here. What do I not want? I guess we don't need the bombs. Beautiful. Give me that range. And, alright, keep that there. 
We're gonna need to be real careful. I don't hear any fighting, so... Chances are the Kumitis spawned with a uh, parallel world wand and is now long gone. <laughs> but usually, if he does, or if I do, I can hear the... Oh, nice. I can hear the all-seeing eye trigger from the parallel world wand. Like, all of a sudden, I'll hear, like, an egg break, and I'll hear the... Or whatever. Um... You know, I haven't really used them after they've been buffed. I don't think they've been buffed that much, but correct me if I'm wrong. That's an item that I usually just completely ignore if I see it now. Unless I need to use an explosion for something, I guess. The gold, the amount of gold I get from it, I've always considered pretty inconsequential. Uh, hmm. Interesting. What was on there? What was on here? Fire potion? Meh. Now right, we're just going to chill for a bit. Have some coffee. Okay. We'll go to the dark cave, jam out, listen to some extra special crispy music, and then uh, throw the Kioskivi in there. Sounds good to me. All right. Whoops. Hi. Oh, you jerk. All right. <laughs> Schmack. Do we... Yeah. Fran King Pancho. Pancho. Hello. Happy Saturday. Hope you're having a good one. <laughs> oh my god so yeah that's nice <laughs> uh oh crap no are you still alive what is down here well this run might end very soon Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, hi. <laughs> what are the plan for today? Lots of stuff. Not dying, hopefully. Um, so this run, alchemy. We're still working on that. Big, big old alchemy run. But I'm combining it now on a seed that one of the... Uh... Oh, okay. This is, this is fine. I'll, I mean, look at that, 26 capacity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> danger. I'm in danger. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that was my ghost had that. My ghost murdered itself. Too bad. All the gold is gone. Fell into the, fell into the sauce, the marinara down there. Um, yeah, Lim, one of the members in the eyes room, one of the most uh, prolific, pretty much, created a Python script that can tell us now the location of all the eyes in any seed. So now, every single time anyone who is interested in the eyes plays, we can know exactly where the eyes are. We don't have to, we don't have to search for them anymore. It's like insane. So this seed has all of the eyes layered like not layered on top of each other but right like above and below each other like right in the same spot same location same vicinity hell yeah 
What's up, pickled sausage? Anyway, so that's, you know, we're not going to get to that today, I'm sure. Because I have other things I want to do, too. But we'll see. It depends on how this run goes. Typically, I'm the type of Noita player who... Okay. I like to uh, play for, you know, an hour, two hours, maybe, and then move, move on. Work on something else, and then return to the run later. That's not just streams, that's just, like, how I play this game, typically. I just have to be really careful when I pick a run back up again. Alright, I would like this, because we want to make mystery fungus out of the desert. So, and we have a spark bolt. Okay, I guess we could do that. Kieskivi! Um, just do that. Let me actually throw this flask here. <clears throat> Let's go down and around, kind of cause this cave to leak a little bit. I don't know. We got 12 dynamite left. We have this, but yeah, not going to use that yet. Not after yesterday. Not after the plasma to the face incident. I'm going to be a little careful right now. Mmm, yummy. Got all this lava over here to make lava rock. How nice. Okay. <clears throat> Hey, Piano Man. What's up? How you doing? What did you, uh, you posted the, uh, the clip of Dunk on, on the Discord server, right? Was it just for, like, a lol? Because I, I was confused, <laughs> like, what, what, what the clip was. Other than just him making a mistake about the, uh, beta and gamma. Or... Beta and Alpha. Gamma and Alpha? Gamma and Alpha. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. I watched it last night really late. And I was like, is there something I missed? <laughs> okay. It's all good. <clears throat> How you doing? Happy Saturday. I ended up watching Critters last night, which is like an old horror movie. Like, I didn't know. My my D, &D group have been discussing or like mentioning Critters lately. I think there was something in the campaign that sounded like Krite or like we fought something. It was like a little, I don't remember. But then we started talking about like memeing on this old movie Critters, like talking about Krites. We're like, we're here for the Krites or whatever. And then... It's like, yeah, remember that that movie? There was like five of them or something or four of them. I think I've only seen the first two. Uh, but then so. But then I uh, I recently my young nephew, my you know, really young nephew was obsessed with critters. And I'm like, what? Like, wh Who are you watching on YouTube that is th these movies are like from the 80s or something? Like, why, how are you into Critters? And I guess there was one in 2019 called Critters Attack. And it's absolutely horrible. Like, the worst, one of the worst movies I've seen in a very long time. But hey, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, there's a rainbow here too. So I guess it's just an effect that I never noticed before. When I was messing around with the uh, Omega White Hole... It created rainbows out of the back of it. And I was like, oh, it's like a prism reflecting the light in the game. Like the light, like that's crazy. That's yet again another deep mechanic or physics mechanic of Noita, of this engine that I never noticed. And it's like, yeah, we have a rainbow. You can barely see it. I don't know if you can see it at all on stream. But there's this, you can see a dim rainbow right there and it's from 
I guess just really dark areas. Quack. The edges. The outskirts of the fog of war. Fog of war uh, effect interacting with something else. Hey. Zero bits. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. I made them all zero bits, right? I think so. It should be. Okay. I'm getting into music making? Hell yeah. All right, so... King Pancho, in my god run the other day, I spent about three hours trying to find a way to kill the friend and all because I didn't know that by killing his companions, he became practically invulnerable. Yeah. Did you successfully do it? Because he becomes immune or he heals to most damage. You have to... The, the easiest way with drill. Yeah, drill and a lot of crits. You have to do a lot more drill damage than any if you do any other type of damage it's going to heal him you have projectile damage on it from like heavy shot and damage plus and stuff like that that all those modifiers do projectile damage so if they're if you're wondering about you know enemies that are immune such as the ones in the power plant or just have high resistance to projectile damage all of like heavy shot uh Damage plus, orbiting arc, spiral arc, all those these modifiers that add damage add projectile damage. Uh, and plasma does projectile damage also. So even though pr plasma is very effective against most things, anything that's immune or strong against projectile damage will not... Yes. <laughs> we'll not get killed by that. Or it'll take a while. But yeah, against... Against friend... Hang on, let me... You gotta use drills and crits. Or you could also... Uh, you know, if you have the means to kill him... Whatever, we'll wait. I don't need that. I'll just leave that there. If you have a good wand with drills and crits, it's not very necessary, but you can reduce his max HP down to 5%, or reduce his HP to 5% by just uh, Toxic Sludge. He takes toxic damage. And you could use the... Uh, yeah. The uh, Charm on Toxic Sludge modifier on him so he doesn't attack you while you just wait for the Toxic Sludge to mostly kill him. But when I say that, reducing his HP down to 5%, he still has quite a bit of HP after that. So it's not, like, super useful doing that. Unless, you know, if you have a drill wand that doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does enough that you'll, you'll be able to kill him with it, then, yeah, it's faster, I guess, to reduce his HP with Toxic Sludge and then kill him with drills. Drill that sucker. Sorry, hammies. That was weird. Yeah, I saw that crawler jumping around off, like, off frame a little bit or off the edge of the screen. Just like a glimmer of it. I was like, what is that? All right. Now. Hey, come on, man. Come on, man. Fine, I'll use this. Damn. <laughs> I love these, the scene. I love just exploding it. If there are enemies inside. It's so satisfying. But I think I said hi, big banana blunt. But hello. Hope you're having a good Saturday. What's everyone up to this weekend? Doing anything? Chilling? Toxic Sludge help a lot. I had a wand with a Toxic Cloud to poison him, and then I put myself under him with the Gatling wand with a drill. Funny thing is that the damage from the drill made him retreat, which prevented him from hitting me. Nice. 
Thief Black Parade and game making. Sounds good. Nice. Uh, Black Parade. Thief Black Parade. What is that? Like, I... I'm not from Like, I know the Thief games. Okay, new fan mission. Interesting. For the original Thief, or... That's cool. Another, like, fan-made thing that I've been meaning to check out are, like, the new Portal campaigns. That one that released, like, a couple years ago now, I think, or a while back. There was the, uh... It adds a new time mechanic. So you got, like, the normal blue and orange portals, but then also another portal that is changes time. And then there's, like, one that just came out recently. Ah! Uh, Ah, uh, come on, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, it's fine. We don't need much HP. I suppose. Been in the works for like a decade. Hell yeah. Okay. Cool. I will check that out. I like the Thief games a lot. It's been a long time since I played any of the Thief games, but... I did play uh, Dishonored 1 not too long ago, maybe maybe a little longer than a year ago now. Dishonored. I gotta replay Dishonored 2, and then I never played Death of the... whatever, the, the expansion for Thief, or for Dishonored 2. I think it's an expansion. Anyway, I have it now. So I was planning on, you know, I played Dishonored 1 again a year ago, whatever. Gonna play Dishonored 2 soonish, I guess, maybe sometime, sometime soon. And then play the Death of the Outsider, I think it is. For the first time. All right. Now, don't kill yourself with Omega Saw. So we just want to do this. Oh, Beautiful. Just gonna do this. Come on, do the fungus. Do the fungus. It's funny. Ow. Yes, and then do that because that's amazing. Okay. There we go. Yay. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to make a bunch of... So this is... We're, let's just like chill for the beginning of this run. Kind of meditate a little bit. <laughs> I wish that this, ah, uh, dude, lose all of our HP, you know, it's fine. I wish this used to move or spread a lot quicker. So it used to be, you would start the, you would create a little bit of mystery fungus and then it would go like pretty fast through the entire surface. All right, well, at least we have a bunch. We just can't use anything that's going to ignite it because it's obviously it's very flammable. That's great. Okay. Get that over here. I might as well do this. So kind of... Wait, let's make a little bit more over here. What do you just take three damage from? The toxic sludge, probably. Right? So I sprayed a little toxic sludge out. No. Oh my god. Get it out. Get out. Come on. Use those feet. There you go. I used to do this at the beginning of every run. That's how much I liked Mystery Fungus and how, you know, it's one of the things. Now there are so many things. What's up, Schaefer? So playing weird games, this is... what? What are you talking about? <laughs> of course. Don't you know me by now? I play only weird games. Um, it's not true, but... How you doing, Schaefer? Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to Gonzo and everyone else as well. Um, hey. Yeah, so in the early days of Noita, now there's a lot of 
unsolved things, sort of, or just like mystery things that we don't really know if they do anything or whatever. You know, there used to be just mystery fungus for the most part was the one thing that didn't really that we could do we can make and it didn't really have any kind of a use from very early on it was one of the first patches added this stuff uh four years ago or whatever the hell it's been so i was always like really into it like because there was there's also secret creeping fungus we'll leave that there i guess well you know what? We might as well grab the orb and just make a little bit on the other side of the pyramid, too. <laughs> Why not? Let's. Well, if I can do this in a decent amount of time and it doesn't fling itself back. Wait. Come on. No, no, no. Okay. I'm practicing my hacky sack skills, my football skills. Suffer would be proud. Maybe not. <laughs> Okay, we're, that's it. Let's get the orb, and then we're giving up. I might as well, we'll get the touch of P, too. But yeah, back then, mystery fungus, and there's secret creeping fungus, which I still think we can make. Secret. Why call it secret creeping fungus? There must be a secret to make it, right? Maybe out of mystery fungus. Hopefully, if, if we can make it, hopefully I find out this run. You know, that's why I'm going to be doing a lot of alchemy experiments, so maybe we'll figure it out. I don't know. Um, because there's not there's not too many uh, materials now, not too many possible combinations of materials. We'll figure it out. But yeah, now, other than the eyes and the cauldron, there's things like gate opener, making gate opener a lot easier. A lot uh, more easily obtained. Like, does that have a use? Or is it just something that exists? You know? Can never really know with Noita. There's just, like, a lot of stuff. A lot of it might just exist for the sake of existing. And that's cool. It just enriches the game, you know? Ah, oh, shoot. That's... Wait. So, <clears throat> well, that's not, I had to drag it out of my inventory. So, okay, the tablet is now up there. That's its new home. Oh. Hey, let's... Whatever. I'm sorry. I messed up the first one. We gotta try that again. I'll get this tablet. At least I didn't die. <laughs> We're flirting with danger, though. For sure. But that's what I do. <sighs> I like how you can always make a diminution at the start by throwing up on the desert skull. Yeah. Or just the bones. Like, you can make a little bit of diminution next to the lava lake. <clears throat> just drink a little bit of oil next to the lava lake or something, eat some rotten meat next to it and throw up on the the skull. Who didn't... Uh, Suffer has a name for that skeleton, right? I forgot. I think, I'm pretty sure he does, though, right? Scully? For real? Okay, I thought it was something like like Larry, or like an actual name like that, like the ghosts have now. Scully. That's cool, I'm okay with that. See, even though I like Flash Gordon, I never agreed with Suffer's uh, name for the horror monster, Flash. But it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Flash. All right, so that tablet is gone. That's fine. <laughs> it's just fine, right? Does this work anymore? Don't break, please. Let's go on this side. Please don't break. Okay. Now, if I click, like if I drag it out of my inventory like this. Oh. 
Yeah. Okay. So I need it to go over here. So as long as you drag it out, it doesn't claim owner. You, it doesn't think you own it. <laughs> okay. But it's got to bounce. Hey. Oh my god. Don't do it. Because it's nested. Yeah, don't worry, we do this. This is fine. <laughs> no problem. Split second death, you know, no no big deal. Do it up on the top, I think. See, that's why. That's why you want to go a little bit higher. Oh, it's very cursed. This is the most cursed. Oh, yeah. Let me, uh, kind of make sure I don't ignite somehow. All right. <laughs> Easy peasy. I'm out of dynamite. Zero. Zero dynamites. Otherwise, yeah, there's no way in hell I would do this. Nah, it's fun. You got to try different things in this game. You know, I'm okay with taking forever to do something. Because I've never done this before. I've never dug by, you know, dragging an egg out of my inventory that has uh, an Omega Saw in it. Plus, we get to experience the amazing new sound of the Omega Saw. They're not scary at all. But yeah, I literally have no other way to do this right now. I guess I could tablet dig, possibly, but... <laughs> I saw a picture of somebody who did that. Was that on my Discord server? Somebody tried tablet digging to get the spell, but all they ended up with was an outhouse with, like, with just like a little piece in the middle, like suspending it. Because <laughs> when you tablet dig, you tend to like kind of go down a little bit. It's funny. Anyway. There we go. Plus, I'm, you know, that's what I'm into in Noita, is doing things differently. I don't want to do things the same way each time. I played this game way too long to do that. Here, you can stay up here. Buff. See, we did not die. <laughs> not yet. Now let's heal. Thank you. Appreciate it. Enter Blinker, happy Saturday. Slam Fan, happy Saturday. Look, it's got a mushroom shape. Interesting. Physics. <sighs> oh, yeah. Okay. I was like, how do I not have two? I thought I grabbed the mountain altar one. Yeah, this is a seed with all the eyes. Uh, they're not superimposed, but they're all above and below each other in a row. <clears throat> I don't know exactly where they are, but, you know, we don't have to worry about that yet. I think they're just, like, up next to Hills 2. Hills 2 being the biome that's, like... In the middle of the EDR over here on the right, on the in the east, there's that hollow space all the way up there. That's Hills 2, which uh, is interesting because it's like a unique biome. This is Hills. So up there is Hills 2, but there's nothing there. It's just an empty space. But I don't know. Maybe there's a way to spawn the eyes. Maybe there's a way to spawn like a unique biome up there somehow. It's kind of like one of the little headcanon theories I've been kicking around with the QR code type of thing where, uh, you know, getting 34 orbs, there is something in the, in the engine called 34 orb credits where it says thanks for the fish, pretty much, in Finnish. Uh, 
And then when you do that, when you do a 34 orb ending, when you end the game with 34 orbs, it loads a Rickroll QR code into memory and then changes one pixel, one single pixel of that QR code and keeps it in memory for the entire session. The next run, as long as you don't shut the game completely down, it stays in memory. So like the game's world is created based on a biome, a pixel map, uh, different colors on this map dictate what biome spawns where, etc. But this, the pixel changes to a color that is not used by the engine, we think. Uh, so it's possible that maybe somehow you can change it. Hey, Dexter, you can change in that next run. There's something else you can do to change it to a color that is used by the game that actually does spawn hills to up there or something. I don't know. Whatever. I think about these stupid things because you have to. Somebody has to. <laughs> I think a lot of us do, but, you know, uh, I'd like to. Let's see. We're going to use the dark cave heal. Happy Saturday, Dexter. Happy Saturday. I thought it was interesting that there are many seeds where not all the messages spawn. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because one of them, they overwrite each other. Having that tool or that script now, which I have not downloaded yet. I'm just using that one seed that Lim found that has all of them. Like, you can see them all pretty much, I think. Uh... Because I don't know exactly how to use that script, but you gave good instructions, so I'll just follow that. I just haven't had a chance to yet <clears throat> get the whatever that is, chalky or something. <laughs> it's probably not chalky at all. Is it? Something like that. I remember chalky. I like how the this music plays every time you come here. All right, I don't have any light. Let's drop. Let's drop this wand just in case over here. I don't think anything's going to grab that, right? Question mark. Just don't want to like accidentally murder myself. I have a tendency to do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got it. Oh, no, that's that. OK, it's at the bottom. We got that one. This is the easy one. Nice, 200. All right, cool. So now we got ourselves a run. Ah, uh, yes, Saturday. The one day where I can actually sit down and let out a big sigh and rest. Hey, nice. Enjoy your Saturday. <sighs> yep. All right. I think that's all we're doing on the surface for now. So I wanted to get that started. We got a bunch of mystery fungus up there. As long as that doesn't ignite, we're good. Because obviously I want to do experiments with mystery fungus. This we will probably, I think, didn't I grab the, I don't know if I grabbed the tablet over here. I think I did. If I did, then we're going to go up and get the tablet in the uh, mountain altar. Because the ones that got destroyed were either... It was the, uh, well, the Thoth, Emerald Tablet of Thoth, I left on the uh, Shrek Island. Piss Island. <laughs> and I think it's either this one or it has to have been this one. Because I only had the one orb. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay.
Rain, one of the people who works on the wiki made it. Made chocolatey. Chocolatey. The alternative is you can just download Python manually, but it's a little more tedious. Yeah. I don't know anything about Python other than it's considered like a language that's just people. It's cool, but not very easy to use, possibly. Although, like back in the day, I had somebody who made me a two intros for games I was playing. They made me an Iconoclasts, an animated intro for my channel for Iconoclasts using Python. And also an animated intro for something else. I forgot what other game using Python. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure I don't, I won't have any problems following your directions, but for people who don't want to do that, I guess, yeah. Or just to cut down on time for anyone, I suppose. Some kind of a tool. Let's just use this. Nope. All right, let's go into the first holy mountain. This is totally going to break, but I want to do this. Okay. <clears throat> so later on in the in the run. <laughs> Too bad toxic sludge doesn't kill you. I was going to just joke and meme be like, yeah, later on in the run when I have like 2 HP left and I happen to go up there, toxic sludge is going to rain down on me and kill me. But obviously that can't happen. But yeah. Python. Kind of is annoying to run raw Python scripts. Let me just kill this guy. You're hiding in pixels. I can't tablet you. What was this? No, we don't have room. I think that was a bomb wand. Okay. Now. <laughs> well, first things first. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. We have egg piss eggs. We got piss eggs. Beautiful. And then... Might as well just buy that and... I'm not going to pick up the refresh yet. Um, actually, let's use this. I think it's funny that, yeah, it's piss eggs. Look, touch of gold. It's look, we're alchemists. We pee on everything to see if it does stuff. If we could make colors manifest. <laughs> uh, the divine liquid. Uh, so, yeah. Do I, we don't have a tr what we have? I can make poor man's teleport egg to get out of the holy mountain. I guess we'll do that. Uh, beautiful. As an alchemist, I can confidently say purple tastes the best. Nice. That's why I like creepy liquid a lot. <laughs> No, no, this is from, oh man, this is from my ghost. This is a hacked wand, a cheated in wand that my ghost just happened to have. My my ghost has some, it was just two hollow eggs with a short range homing Omega saw. Um, It's one of the good, one of the good wands that my ghost has. The ghost also has uh, the two second wand. <laughs> so every now and then I'm playing and I hear like all seeing eye or like I, I see the ghost and I all of a sudden I see a deer. I'm like, no, give me because <laughs> my ghost has the two second victory wand. It's hilarious. I love it. I got to make sure it always has that. All right. <laughs> Do we want? Yes. Yes. Let's make this even faster. Actually, beautiful. Okay, perfect. Now, 
Yeah, so we can throw these to... I'm not going to do that yet, though. Create P everywhere. Um... My beloved fish. And here's the deal also. We can't do this right now, but... <sighs> I still want to do a run where I save the lives of all the fish in the Holy Mountains. Mm -mm. Just like dig them out and make them safe. Somehow. And like, what are your guys' ideas and theories about... Why every out of every enemy in the game, the fish are the only ones that take fall damage? Why even bother doing that? You know? If it doesn't do anything. Let's see, this might not work. Fuck. That's not gonna work. Ah! Rip. Gotta get my lobbing skills down better. Egg lobbing. percent yeah that one seed was crazy though see I'm using a different seed for this run now but the one that I killed myself on yesterday that seed was very unique in for me from my experience right now because it had a Gary in the mines in new game like that's insane there's the and RV said he moved Gary, Gary being the one ghost enemy that makes you take 10 times more damage. RV said he moved that ghost to spawn only in New Game Plus, but I had one in New Game in the mines. So I guess maybe it's a super rare thing or maybe, I don't know, whatever. There wasn't the haunted modifier or yeah, the hair stands up on the back of your neck. There was an M. We didn't have that modifier, so... I don't know how that thing spawned. It's pretty cool, though. Hey, what's up, Gyro? Welcome. Thank you. How you doing today? Happy weekend. Thanks, Gonzo. Ooh. Yeah, we're just doing this one run, and then I'm going to play Basilisk for a bit. Although, we're going to switch. I played a bunch of Basilisk 2000 yesterday, got super addicted. But I, for, I didn't play the original Basilisk, so we're going to play that first before we continue on with regular or Basilisk 2000, I think, maybe. I, no, that couldn't have been my, my ghost. Ha ha. This run would have been absolutely insane, though, if my ghost, instead of having this, if it had, like, a the parallel world travel wand. That would be so crazy, because then I would have been able to see the eyes immediately from the beginning of the run. Maybe. I guess we would have had to fly, but, eh. If I could just get a tablet, maybe... Um, Gojuku. Hope you're having a nice stream. I am. Hope you're having a nice day. Thank you. 
been some time since I last watched. What does the title mean? All eyes in the same vicinity. The do you know the Noita eyes uh, secret puzzle design? Uh, all of the eyes. There are nine nine eye locations in the entire world. Uh, it's a cipher, pretty much that people have been working on for a very long time to try to solve. It's one of the few unsolved secrets still left in the game for the last few years and uh, two years. And this particular seed now, somebody in the community, Lim, made a Python script that uh, you can that will tell you the location, the coordinates of all the eyes in each seed. And uh, if anyone wants me to link that, I'll link that. Maybe I'll make a command for it in chat. Because Gonzo uploaded it to his GitHub. Uh, anyway. So this particular seed has all of those eye coordinates, like, right around each other. I don't have a command yet, but I could. Let me do that. Real fast here. Don't want to dox myself. Um, ba -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. I don't think I would show anything anyway. Oh, maybe I would. <clears throat> Commands. Custom. Here, we could do this now. Schmack. Um. <clears throat> Oops. Caps lock. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, here's a script that will show you the coordinates of all I locations in your seed. Beep, bop, boop. Um, add. <laughs> commands uh let's see where is this thing i think i did i tweet it too i think i tweeted it i tweeted uh silma silma cryptography i think it's is it pinned i don't think it's pinned yet oh here we go limbs binoculars Okay. Schmack. There we go. Beautiful. All right. The shirt looks really good on you. This one. Thank you all. Thank you. I used to not wear it a lot on stream because it's green, but I don't care anymore about professionalism. <laughs> or like having invisible parts of my body. In fact, I think that's cool. In fact, one day, I'm just going to paint myself the color of my chroma keying and wear like just a solid green shirt that color. <laughs> and, and still the hat. So I'll just be a hat streaming. Oh, I got to do that now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I need something better to dig with here. Okay. We got plenty of gold for now. What the heck? Decolletage? Collarbone? <laughs> I don't care. It's all good. All good with me. Thank you. Um. So now we have the eyes. Here, does anyone... Let's check it. Let me edit my title. Put the exclamation mark in there. 
do, 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 do. New seed, all eyes. In the same vicinity. You know what? I also just got the urge to listen to Skinny Puppy, all eyes. Back in the day when I used to listen to a lot of industrial stuff. Hmm. Drop that for now. That was one of my favorite tracks. In fact, I would probably still really get down with it. I think Skinny Puppy is one of the... I don't really listen to industrial anymore or anything, but Skinny Puppy I'll always love, I'm sure. I just haven't listened to them in a while. All I, uh... I like noise. I like all kinds of music, but I... I've always really, really been into sound and soundscapes and, and experimental music and noise and where the hell am I? Ha! Huh? How do I... what? And Skinny Puppy, a lot of their stuff, especially that album, Last Rites, is very, very noisy. But yeah, synthesis, making making sounds on synth synth synthesizers. Oh crap, I forgot I collapsed it. That's, I've always been in love with audio design and synthesis. All right, um, what are we doing? Can I dig back out without killing myself? Would like to tinker. Well, we have a teleport bolt. We don't need. That's a fast wand. I would put teleport on there. We don't need this anymore. I have. Okay, we could drop this, I guess. Even though it's a fast, fast wand. Oh, shoot. Well, we don't have to drop anything yet, I guess. Let me just go back to the uh, fungal. And yeah, so far we have not used any hearts or... Uh, Refreshes like that holy mountain still has them. Spread one degree spread six degrees. Okay, never mind. We would use this one. This one I would not use, so we'll drop that one for teleports. <clears throat> hmm. Slower, but. <laughs> you die. Should try to get some of that in a flask. Ha ha ha. Oh, we have a lava lava potion. Hmm. So the thing is, I don't want to have to carry around all this stuff, like, obviously I want to do experiments with a lot of different things, but I'm not going to carry around a flask of lava unless there's also my poor HP, unless there's also a flask of uh, freezing liquid in here. Then I'll try to, like, combine them and make some dense rock in a flask. And then I'll carry that around, I guess. There we go. Perfect. I found them from the Underworld soundtrack. Nice. Two Dark Park is still going strong with me. Yeah. So my favorites are Two Dark Park, Last Rites, and The Process. And I think, like, some of the... I still have Brap. I think I do. Oh, maybe I don't anymore. Somebody may have stolen that, too. Hmm. I've had a lot of stuff stolen over the years. Or borrowed and never returned. <laughs> Uh, Berserkium. This is actually... Hang on. We'll use that. Probably. I recently did get rid of all of my, my books of CDs. I used to have like 10 different books filled with CDs. Big ones, too. And a lot of them were in really bad shape. A lot of them were burned, you know, too. But they were in really bad shape because I kept those CD books in my car. And so the heat would just, like, fry them and stuff. And 
some of the CDs skipped constantly, so I just threw out all of them. Lovely. But my old laptop still has all of my digital music collection. I have like, I, I don't even remember how many MP3s I have on it. It's a lot. I have some records left. Outgassing in my closet. Toxic gas. It's nice. <laughs> hey, dummy. Stop that. You just shot the invisibly. You know what? I'm going to drink this and rescue that, I think. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, well. If I could find a bag in here, I would like that. Kind of stressful and spooky. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to put that on right now. Because I feel like listening to that. Skinny puppy. Please be cool. And don't... Kill me for playing your song on stream. Schmack. Hey, come on. I hate this. I've never had... Hello, you... everyone. Stop it. Ugh, I closed you. God, I hate it. YouTube Premium, man. This is the first time I've ever had it, and it's annoying. <laughs> uh... Yes, I had this, Brap. Just like a two CD set with really cool art. Including this little puppy down there. Look at it. You can see the little puppy. Okay, all eyes Brap version. This is the one that I really like. Live? He's dead. Is the music too loud? Let me know if it's too loud. It's louder than I normally play music on stream, but I just feel like listening to this and like I'm going to stop talking for a bit. No? Okay. We we can barely hear the in-game sound effects, but it's nice music. <laughs> yeah. I used to jam out to this song so much. DJ Hippo.
Uh. <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> Very experimental, very noisy, interesting sounds. Thank you, skinny puppy. <laughs> this song is only for when you get high. I love this so much. Yeah, I love this track. Lots of teleport bolts around. So <laughs> that's all for that for now. All right. I just had to hear it again. It's been a while. It's been too long. And the uh, the funny thing is before we moved to Florida, when my uh, I lived in New York and we would take road trips all the time from New York to Florida. And because uh, my grandparents lived here, <laughs> and I would make my parents like play that in the car on the way down. My dad's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> I'm like, what? It's so good. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. <laughs> yes. Now I just subject you guys to it. I don't know. I've just always really, really loved that track, the that version of the track too. Just the way it sounds, everything. It's very experimental. All the. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. I've just been going back and forth pretty much. Found teleport bolt. We didn't find any speedies. No chainsaw. No loomies. Pretty sure I looked. Mostly everywhere. Takes you on a journey. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome, guys. Ephistus. Schaefer. Everyone else who hated every minute of that, I'm sorry. Sorry that you're wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Now, ooh, that looks lovely. <laughs> I 
Maybe we should get some cocktail, too, from one of those guys. Oh, well, too late now, but... Hey, 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 hey. I can't believe I almost uh, asphyxiated listening to Skinny Puppy. <laughs> I mean, I do believe that, but... Uh. Anyway, what else is everyone up to this weekend? I asked earlier, you get to live because you're cool. You make things slimy. And that's okay with me. Ah. Because you work on my enemies as well. You're not my favorite of the new ghosts, but don't let anyone tell you that you're not a stand-up guy. What is your name? Larry? Is this Larry? I don't remember. It's gonna take a while to remember all their damn names. Larry, Gary, Moe, and Curly. Oops, throw something at me. Wait, I can't catch it. Hang on. Uh, whoops, that was the wrong one. Hey! Oh! Okay, toss. Thank you. Thank you. You're so nice. Okay. All right. So now we have cocktail sauce for our shrimp. I wish there were shrimp in Noita. <laughs> totally random. <laughs> I wish there were shrimp in Noita. Same. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe just like one shrimp in the lake. Just one. Very small, hard to find, swimming around constantly. Hmm. Maybe in a moat. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Come here. Oi. Schaefer, thank you for the bits. Appreciate you. Oh. Here, stand in the... Oh. Okay. Well, that's good. You're safe now. Ish. Just don't murder yourself with acid. And maybe we'll see each other again. For now, we'll continue on our way. Uh... Do, 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 do. I'll keep a couple, maybe three of these for now, just in case. I don't know. Get crazy. Uh, let's see. It's pretty decent. Hmm. Well, we're definitely using something else for these. Um, I don't want to set myself on fire constantly. Hmm, okay, so we will grab greed or infinite unlimited spells. Uh, unlimited spells counts for this, correct? It does. Okay, infinite PP. Let's go. All right. Now, let me sell some stuff, maybe. Yeah, so if you type exclamation point eyes, it's not a explanation, but there's a tool. There's a there's a script now that somebody in the community named Limbs made that uh, will tell you the location of all the eyes in any any of seed. Um, it gives you the coordinates. Yeah. So we know exactly where they are at any time now. We don't have to go searching for them in a seed. We can just start a run. Wait a minute, what? I thought I saw something else. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah. Know exactly where they are in any seed, or it gives you the coordinates. In this particular seed, they are all... Like, all up and down from each other. Like, right there. You can just fly up and down. 
and see all of them next to each other. It's amazing. Yes. The eyes. Uh, okay. So, let's put... Put the black holes on here. Oh, this hasn't always cast, so I can't sell it. You jerk. It should sell it. It should kick the spell off of the wand and give give you the spell and sell the wand. All right, go over there. The junk. Yeah, we'll keep one of those. Mmm, yummy. Um, which one are we going to use for teleports? Not that one. Maybe that. Hmm. 747. Yeah, we we'll use this for teleports. Okay. Oops, I should have done this. I'm just going to keep all of them. We'll keep uh, three of these for now. All right. I'm just going to keep all these on here for the moment. Keep that. Maybe we will put this on here. And then this one we're going to sell. And this one we're going to sell. Right? Yeah, it's fine. Order. Order. <laughs> or, or. <laughs> yeah, I have to go back and finish that game eventually. I know. It still stings too much that I got to the end of the Ordor game. Right to the end and then softlocked right before we finished it. <laughs> Oh, man. Wait a minute. What did I do? Did I sell a wand that I was going to keep? Maybe? I don't know. We have everything we need right now. Whoops. Oh, well. That was a waste. Wait. Okay. And then the other ones we're not going to buy. All right. Is there anything else? I guess maybe we could shoot spark bolts too. Is there anything else that I want to fire? Maybe not. Sure. We'll do this. Um, there we go. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay. So we collapsed the first holy mountain, but the first one has a, the heal and the refresh. The second one has just the heal. Nice. Do, 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 do. Gotta make gumbo in the cauldron. Yeah. I have tried cooking things in the cauldron, though. A few recipes, but you never know. <laughs> hmm. I thought we finished. Can you refund the wands? You can sell wands. You can't get them back once you sell them. Uh, I forgot the prices. Like, how much you get. I think this one... The first Holy Mountain, you get 200. Second, you get... Does it just go up by 100 each time or 200 each time? So I think this one, I could buy both of these and make money off of it. So... Let's try that, I guess. Here, let me sell this one first. Right? Yeah. 26.39. Okay. 22.39, of course. I wanted this anyway. And I guess maybe we should keep this one. Nah. If I want those, I can come back for them. All right, 22.39. We had 26.39. Okay, no, we lost. Okay, that's fine. Have you tried making a wand that works as a tentacle gatling gun? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, though? Like, just rapid fire tentacles from me? Or rapid fire tentacles off of a trigger? So you have just, like, tentacles 
just the end of the tentacle hitting something. I've made uh, definitely rapid fire tentacle wands before, for sure. Tentacles. Tentacler. Oh, with that. Um, I may have messed around with it. Tentacler is a modifier I don't really use very often. All right, let's. You know what? Yeah, I don't want to carry around the cocktail with me. I gotta find a good spot to put this stuff. But for now, it's probably gonna break. But we'll put it there. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what, too? Um, we have Ambrosia. We can go and kill the... If I can manage to kill 30 uh, innocent creatures, we can spawn the island boss. Kill the island boss. Meatball is not immune to touch of, so you can just one-shot Meatball with a timer it's easy to do with a timer or easier or maybe long distance cast into this will be the easiest actually um but i don't think tapio's vassal the island boss can be touch of can't reach out and touch that one but we can still just sit in ambrosia and chip away at it with something like this even probably take may take a little while uh but if we can get the, if any, if you can get the, if you can kill that boss early, or at any time, but the the new whatever the new mass poly spell that it drops, Muadan Mutos. Never mind, I shouldn't have tried to pronounce it. <laughs> the new mass poly spell. You can just shove that into a hollow egg and carry that around with you, and then you have like poly immunity. Because if you touch polymorph in any way, everything around you on the screen is also going to get polymorphed from that spell going off. So you touch poly, unstable poly, or chaotic poly, everything on screen is going to turn into a sheep. So we have a new, very easy anti-poly egg. I would probably also shove a shield into there too, just to be safe. But yeah, it's nice having that spell. Like, the fish spell made uh, wand farms so much easier, so much more minimal. And then the mass poly spell made anti-poly eggs way more uh, minimal. I wish, dear love urine, I wish that... The, in the early days or whatever, I think before the game was even on. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? How did that? Oh, because it took a while to sink down. I get it. Um, The developers told us a funny story. And also this was in like interviews that they did early on about how... The deer on the island, the deer used to pee. And then they drowned themselves in their own piss. So they had to disable that feature. But I wish that they would give us, I wish that defeating the uh, Tapio's vassal, the island boss, re-enabled that. Because right now it's like defeating that boss, you get the, the mass polymorph spell. And also from that point forward, for the rest of your run, all innocent creatures explode when they die. But it would be cool also if they peed. At, at least the deer. So you can just have them drowning each other and exploding. I don't know. Things like that, like funny little meme features like that, that make this game even more of like the dwarf fortress of like action roguelite, roguelikes. Makes me... Yeah, like I love it. Because this is totally like the door, door fortress of roguelites or action roguelikes. And anything like funny like that, that just does stupid things. Like, we, you wouldn't want to encounter it all the time. That's why 
make it an unlock when you defeat that boss, so you know. Or maybe some other secret uh, trigger will trigger that. That would be really awesome. Just things like that. <clears throat> Stainless stacks work with your boss. Reflect damage. You don't need Ambrosia. Stainless does work. Okay. Cool. And also, you know, extra life and uh, saving grace. Yeah, you don't need Ambrosia at all. But I'm saying for like early on, that's how I care about things. It's like I don't care about what's possible late in runs pretty much because everything is possible pretty much later in runs. I focus very much. I'm sure a lot of you realize that I focus a lot about what's possible in the very early game. For some, for whatever reason, people on the Discord were talking about this recently on the Noita Discord. Um, somebody was talking about how they watched my video about the chain gun, how to get the chain gun in the beginning of a run, how they did that, and then they died when they got back into the mines. And they were like, oh my god, it was like an hour, and then I died. And then somebody else was like, yeah, that's, you know... That might, that's not the fun way to play the game, like doing something for a really long time before you even start the run. And I disagree with that because I make videos about these things because that's how I enjoy playing this game and every game the most. Every game that I can do things in the beginning of the game, like going for alternate starting strategies, that's my favorite way to play any video game. I've always been into that. Dark Souls, you know, like I go to the forest first, get the wolf ring and everything. I like when games are not, like the difficulty is not uh, balanced to the player. Or uh, leveled loot and all that stuff, like later Elder Scrolls games. I like Morrowind, where you can, if you want to, you can go far away get m better equipment at any time if you know where it is if you know how to get it you might have to deal with more difficult enemies like in dark souls going to the forest from the beginning of a run pretty much etc skipping undead un undead berg so like in noita that's what i enjoy the most doing i love going on the surface getting touch of gold you know, I didn't go to Overgrown. I haven't gone, gone to Overgrown first on a stream in a while. But I still, that's how I like to play games. But anyway, but to each their own. That's my point, I guess, also. It's like, however you enjoy playing games, play play games that way. Um, don't worry about what anyone else does. But I, I brought that up for a reason that I forgot about. This is beta. No, no mods. No mod. Oh yeah, so the reason why I brought that up is I care very much about coming up with ways to kill all the bosses from the beginning of a run, pretty much. Like, killing the meatball, you know? I might take a break in a little while and show you the, uh, and just play this. Wherever it is. Um... Where is this? Did I delete it? I may have deleted this. I think I did. Well. Hang on. <laughs> oh, geez. Did I delete it? What an idiot. I think I deleted it. Oh, my God. Well, I did a run. Shit. I got to do that again. Uh, it was so good, too. Everything was perfect. Ugh. Anyway, you can kill the meatball boss from the very beginning of a run. Uh, all you need is Invisibleum pretty much to stay alive in Meat Realm. And then just like explo explosions just to get down into the desert. Uh subterranean desert 
And, uh, yeah. So you could just touch of the meatball boss. Damn it. I can't believe I deleted that. Yo. Okay, I'll take another one of those. I'm like, I'm still, I'm thrown off right now. I'm still trying to think if I have that backed up that footage, but I don't think I do. I was going to put it in that last video, but then I was like, no, I'll make a standalone video and it will be, you know, because I've made those videos about how to kill every boss easily, which I got to remake a few of those now. And I was going to make like how to kill the meatball boss early, but yeah, you can just get this, go down there. And he's not immune to it. And just get the chain chainsaw wand from the beginning of a run, pretty much. Some things like having, you know, when you get this, you need to edit a wand. So you either need Tinker with Wands everywhere, or you need to go to, you know, the first Holy Mountain or something. But anyway, I deleted that because I was going to put it in the previous video and I decided not to. And then... After I'm finished with the video, I deleted all of the footage, you know, to clear out my recording drive or that recording drive. And whoops, it's not in another folder. All of my Noita stuff was in that folder. Sucky. Yeah, big F. Uh, pretty perfect way to describe Noita, the Dwarf Fortress of, yeah. Yeah. That's why, like, funny things that can happen, funny procedural weirdness. That doesn't affect every run. Or that isn't too, e too easy to trigger in every run if you don't want it to, you know? Blah. All right, let's... Uh, I'm upset right now about deleting that. I guess it won't take that long to do again, but I still have the seed that I did it on. The seed just had um, invisib Invisiblium in the mines, and the first Holy Mountain had Tinker with wands everywhere, so I could just easily showcase this. But the, the kill was perfect. Everything was perfect. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm so thrown off my game right now. Damn it. Let's not... Let me not noit to myself. Yeah, shit happens, I know. I haven't done that in a long time. Like, accidentally deleted footage for a video. Ugh. In fact, most footage I back up. Because I'm working on a lot of videos that... Nice gonna take months and months of work i have footage recorded right now for videos that i'm probably gonna release a year from now maybe or six months judging by how long it takes to make some of these things that i'm working on so that footage i definitely have backed up in multiple spots you know like not just locally but i have it backed up in the cloud as well it just takes a while the only time I don't have something backed up is if it's a video that I'm working on right now that it's going to get finished very soon. That's why that got deleted. Uh, nice. Mm, that's not a good spot. What the? F God damn. That thing just went to town on me. All right, let's heal. Maybe. We have 91. That's still a good amount. We'll see. We'll try to heal from a pinky. And he see base. I'd like to conserve the hearts if possible. Mm. Nice. Rock. Rock and stone. Hey, hey, hey. All right, let's go down now since... Yes. Need you to die first.
You go right into there. Take a bath. Nice exfoliating lava bath. Oh, nice. We got some worm gas. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Some worm gas. I wish we could collect gases in a container. Uh, hmm. Maybe that eventually, for alchemy reasons. Let me buy it now and throw it in the holy mountain. Where'd that worm go, man? Ow. All right, let's go down. Taking too much damage now. I went all the way up here. Oh, uh, no. Wait, this is the old one. Oh, man. Rants. Where'd you go? Ow. Alright. Yeah, so that, uh, losing that footage really threw me off, and now I'm taking all the damage. It's nice. All right. Would like that. Did the worm? Maybe the worm is down here. Uh, no more shuffle. Although we already have amazing wands, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> here you go. Perfect. We have infinite homing rocks. Uh, although I don't want to use them because I don't want to kill a pinky. Hang on. What is worm gas? It's just worm blood touching lava produces it, and it just makes you see through walls. Or it basically it functions the same way as this wormy vision. You just, you just can't drink it or anything. Just being in its vicinity increases this buff. But it... uh. It condenses or disperses pretty quickly, fairly quickly. I don't think it condenses and turns back into worm blood. I think it just disperses, but also suffocate. Yeah. It just increases the length of the buff. It doesn't... Uh, doesn't stack or anything to make it better. <clears throat> but it also means it doesn't uh, fill your stomach. So if you drink or you're filled, your stomach is filled with some, some other buff or for some other reason, and you don't want to throw that up to, you know, reduce your satiation, then I guess you could just. Uh... We're not going to anger the gods yet. I'm going to focus now because I kind of I lost a lot of focus because of losing the footage. So let me just focus on the game. Try not to die. Try not to kill a pinky. I want to try to get, you know, pheromone charm a pinky to get heals so that I don't have to waste my uh, the hearts in there. But if I take much more damage, then I'm going to just go grab that heart. <clears throat> but I'm going to play very slowly now, again. Rock on. Popcorn time? Nice. I like that the devs added the status symbol from the gas effects. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They added recently, like, a lot of these additions recently... Even though we have a lot more funny 
good wand uh, science jank, <laughs> like from the fish, from the fish spell and from the uh, what do you call it? Uh, poly mass poly spell and more. It's not none of that stuff has ever bothered me. I don't really consider it jank. Jank sounds too, I don't know, too negative to me. But even though, like, my point is all these new features that they've been adding, they've been adding a lot of things that have made the game feel even more professional, or not professional, but just, like, polished. They've polished more things, and it feels nice. Like, adding those icons, and even just adding the gases, like, expanding the game in other ways. Oh, I never used the chainsaw. Oh, well. We'll probably go back up there anyway. Alright, where's a pinky? I just need one... Soon, please. I have three seconds of wormy vision. That sucks. And I don't want to use a rock yet. I try not to use them in here for a run like this. Because I don't want to kill all the pinkies. The healers. Now let's check the other side. Damn it. <laughs> I'm probably going to grab the heart. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I love when they do that. You kill them, but right as they die, they lob up one of those grenades. All right, I'm not trusting myself right now. <clears throat> oh yeah, well, I was gonna grab some teleportation. Never did that. Maybe there'll be some in here. sound like popcorn <laughs> nice oh that's why you said it's popcorn time okay i love homing rocks it's just such a homing rocks with like modifiers as well nice should probably grab some water uh yeah let me get rid of the broken spell Well, actually, yeah, let's reforge the broken spell. We're right here. have maybe maybe not enough black holes to get to the eye room by just digging if i had a speed up or something some way to speed them up i might have enough i don't know i have i probably have measured that in the past how many normal black holes it takes to get to the eye room without speeding them up or anything you know but i don't remember at all right now I've died to a last 
I've died to reading chat when something's aiming at me. Ugh. Oh, you dead. You dead. So, what does it say? What'd you say? I've died to a last minute Hail Mary blooper from a CEO. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Nice. Not nice. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's nice. That's. Good job, CEO. Aw, oh, man. Oh, it still got ya. Nice, and blew up some propane. So much propane, man. So much. What do they use all that propane for? Are you trying to hit me with that? They use the propane for their, uh... Their, uh... Whiskey. Their moonshine business. <laughs> Do you have any recent non-stream game catching your interest these last few months? Non-stream? Any new games? Uh, that I've been playing? Or just games that I've added to my wish list? There have been a lot of those. Off stream and off video, which I'm, I'm making videos of. I've mentioned this a bunch. Rain World, I've been recording a lot of stuff to make some videos of Rain World. Uh, and then what else have I been playing recently? I played through all Baldur's Gate 3, of course, when Baldur's Gate 3 came out. I have played through, I've recorded a bunch of Pony Island recently. Inscription I'm currently recording footage of. Because when, uh, before Pony Island 2 comes out, I'm going to make a video on Dan Daniel Mullins and his style of game dev. Like the really meta, not, or anti-fiction, or... Not, whatever it's called. There's some kind of genre that people were saying. I just say meta, but I think it's like anti-fiction. Anyway. And I've been playing through the Hex on stream. But the Hex has been disappointing for me. Like, it's kind of cool that it mixes together a bunch of different genres of games, you know. But it doesn't have as much of the really interesting meta stuff. And so it's been disappointing me. And like, yeah, it mixes all these styles of game together, these genres. But n none of them are like very extremely well done, you know? I guess it's okay. They're not really supposed to be, but because there's, like, nothing else super meta, really, yet, it's, like, not really keeping my interest much. So, like, the last time I tried to stream it, I threw a little hissy fit, sort of, and just, like, couldn't play it. <laughs> I just, like, was like, alright, we're done. Let's play Noita now. But I still, I'm gonna play through the whole thing. I'm gonna... You know, because I still want to make an all-inclusive video of his stuff, so I need to experience all of that game. Everything it has to offer, 100%, pretty much. So, Pony Island, though, I consider Pony Island to be, like, a perfect game. I think it's, because it's small, bite size, it doesn't overstay its welcome, and everything it includes is perfect, I think. It's, like, perfectly executed. I love it. I don't know. I think it's a great game. I think, like, the platforming stuff is very simple, but it gets... gets complex enough that it kind of works. Not kind of. Like, I think it it's perfect, you know? But then all of the puzzles and the hacking and the meta stuff and, like, clicking around on a fake desktop... Finding, unlocking 100% of that game was great. 
I had a really great time recording all that. Come here, buddy. You must... You must be protected. You are the rare breed of Hisi Healer. And yeah, other games, like, I might... Uh... I don't know if I'll do that today, but I've been planning on doing like a wish list stream or a segment where I just like go through every game that I have on my wish list, talk about them a little bit, and maybe maybe take some off. I don't know. I've got 180 something on there right now. Possibly also uh, add a bunch more. I'm saying like pe I'm gonna show people what I have on my wish wish list no wait mm. and then people are gonna be like why is this not on your wish list and i'll be like oh my god and then i'll by the end of the stream i'll have like another 50 games on my wish list and be somehow sad uh sir <laughs> that's interesting Don't grab it. Come on. You don't do that. You don't grab things from the ceilings. I need to take a quick bathroom break. I can't believe I deleted that. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I deleted that footage. Damn it. That was the next Noita video I was going to put out. <laughs> oh, man. It's so good. Fantastic. Gotta love deleting all of the footage for a video <laughs> right before you put it out. Cry. Okay. Anyway, blah blah blah. It's not an obscure game, but have you tried out Evil Land 2? Uh, I haven't. Evil Land. I knew I should know exactly what that is, but right now I'm kind of drawing a blank. But the name is very familiar. Oh, maybe I was getting it confused with Superland. Whoops. Because I know that. Eh, don't shoot that. Don't shoot the healer, you jerk. Well. I'm the jerk. Evo Land. No, I don't know. I, I I haven't played it. Huh. No, look it up real quick. Kind of forgettable, but the second one is great. Nice. Let's just get down to the next holy mountain, and then I'm, I want to look at that. Ow. I wasn't looking at you. I'm... All right. Well. <laughs> Damn, man. Come on. I need to keep one alive in here. Jeez. Jeez. All right, you don't drown, please. Don't drown in the blood of your comrades. <laughs> oh man. Imagine if there was a spell or a secret that resurrected them. That would be cool. Uh, not worth.
Hmm. Little pinky. You're gonna get shot. Little pinky. Uh. <clears throat> Alright, let's see here. Boom. Pinky's probably gonna die. Both of those Pinkies are probably dead right now. Fantastic. Uh huh. Ooh, interesting. V this is a very interesting. Wow. Quite an interesting holy mountain because that cement spell that I just bought also. Uh. Alright, fine. Cement. Concentrated mana, cement, levitadium for alchemic precursor. Fungus blood, mud, pheromone for lively concoction. Hell yeah. I didn't look at anything else this seed has. I just wanted to make sure that the eight, the alchemy recipes were possible to make. They're possible enough. They're not the easiest, but they're all right. Uh, but yeah, this seed is like the eyes just scattered like right next to each other. The red drippy healing cross is in. I'm playing on beta only. I only ever play on beta. It's a uh, deadly heal, and it does damage at first. It does projectile damage, a good amount, a decent amount of projectile damage to you, and then it will heal over time, like circle of vigor. Instead, like this, only heals you a certain amount each time. This will. Kill you more than it, uh. What do you call it? I need to take a break. I need. Hang on. I'll be right back. Quick bathroom break. I'm sitting here just like. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. You. It doesn't do. Unless you throw it at an enemy and get them to heal you, it doesn't do any self damage. So you need to add, like, bloodlust or piercing to it to hit yourself with it. But then the projectile damage, you need to figure out how to. Take slime blood to reduce your projectile or to increase your projectile resistance, etc. Do the weakening trick to make projectiles not. Oh, I always wash my hands, trust me. Alright, let's do this. I'll be right back. Whoops. Okay. Pee on lava? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna. We are totally gonna. We're making all the fool's gold. We're making all the gate opener. And all the Australium. Hell yeah. I changed my... Ew. I pressed my uh, monitor settings button by accident. And now... It looks bad. I guess it's fine. It's just a little bit more contrasty, or not contrasty, uh, gamma e. Um. Oh yeah, let me grab a drink of uh, some water, so I don't have any. Doo -doo.
Only fools pee on lava. But I am a fool. All right. So having a chaotic transmutation is also going to be very nice. Uh, I guess I don't have to carry around three of these. Let's see. What do I not need or want? How much mana? We could probably use this. We have a chainsaw also, actually, that I, whoops, forgot about. Too bad we couldn't get, well, I don't want exploding corpses, that's right, but explosion immunity would be real nice. Cement, we got this. I'm not going to go use that yet, I just wanted the spell. Because I want to eventually, I want to put this on my teleport wand in order to hopefully not crash the game and lag it out everywhere. But I would like to try to cast the portal spell in a lot of different places just to see if possibly it anything interesting will happen. Or like if there is a hidden portal anywhere, chances are there aren't, but whatever. Um, I would like a trigger all right so okay get that hmm <laughs> We're gonna have another multicast though. I'll just buy that for now. I don't know if I'm gonna use that. I think Deadly Heal is basically if you can't find any other healing and you find that, I think it's a little more common than the other. Well, maybe not. I think they should make this the most common healing spell though. I know Circle of Vigor is pretty rare, but regular Healing Bolt is pretty common. But if they made regular Healing Bolt less common and kept this one the most common, then it would force people to have to try to figure out how to get around that. But then people complain about this game not having enough healing as it is for, like, you know, people who don't typically kill the Alchemist. Hang on. Let's... All right. Now what? Speaking of the alchemist, we should go up and kill the alchemist. <clears throat> yeah, I think we should do that. Um, all right, so. Juicy. Maybe let's here, let's go into the jungle a little bit first. Okay. And I think now it's time. We'll just give you a little gift right here. Oh. What? <laughs> what the hell, man? The first one broke. Thanks, Rock. You, you're so good. All right, well, at least we didn't take a bunch of damage. Let's kill the dragon. I want to make a more interesting wand than this. Before I use all these black holes, also, uh, dig up here. I'm gonna dig up here. Beautiful. And then, how many do I have left? Six. Let's continue 
to dig upwards. Hopefully. Don't shoot that propane tank, man. Buddy. Ow. <laughs> you got close. All right. Perfect. Hello. Wait a minute. Take care of you. All right. Now, are you dead? No, you're good. You're good. <clears throat> do 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 do. Do 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 do. Nice. Whoops. <laughs> oh man, damn it. <laughs> just can't uh just can't keep them alive. Uh I was clicking on my other monitor for a minute. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Rip. All right, so now we can go all the way up. Um, do that. All right, let's see. Let's kill the the uh, dragon, and then maybe I'm gonna put together, maybe get a better wand to put like a our alchemist killer on, so I don't have to edit this much or put like Omega Saw on that. Be nice. When I click my other monitor, the Noita game window minimizes. Doesn't it happen to you? No, you could turn that off. Uh, I forgot what option it is, but... Is it input? There are multiple settings for things like that. Could, you know, keep that off, obviously. Pause the game when unfocused, off. I also play in a uh, windowed. Do, do, do. Yeah, be streaming and recording this game. If you have it in certain settings, like uh, full screen or whatever, it's a stuttery mess. With something about OBS doesn't like it for me. I think other people have that problem too who stream this. So I have to play it in a window or else it's just like the stream is very, oh, when I tell it, like the game itself will be fine, but the capture, the stream and video, whenever you teleport like this, the entire, the game starts like stuttering in a weird way. So let me know if it's doing that, because <laughs> I think it shouldn't be doing that uh, right now. I think I have everything set correctly. Nice. Just who I was looking for also. Now we just need... Ow. Stop it. Man, I hate the hornets, the wasps. So much. Stop. Stop that. Don't pick it up. Are you going to pick that up? Please don't. Please don't. Don't do it. No, you're gonna do it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right. Well, you're dead. <laughs> do I dare try to kick that out of his hands? Shit balls. Nope. 
Rip. Too bad it wasn't something that has uses or cast limit. Cast charges, I mean. Oh well. That's why it's always good to try to put wands out of reach. Probably heal again. Cramp. try those settings yeah you're welcome yeah so I, it doesn't uh, I think it's because I played in a window and then yeah I don't have it paused at all I can I'm clicking hello on my other monitor right now and the game keeps going you don't need to use all those settings unless you're streaming you know I just keep it like that because I stream just if I have to go and quickly ban somebody or whatever, which I ra very rarely have to do, but if I do, I can do that and not pay attention to Noita and then die in the game. Because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Now I can't dig in here. This is fantastic. That was uh, an accident. <laughs> yeah, so we've gotten to that point where I'm going to take a break from the run. But first, we're going to kill that. I just need a way to dig into the egg. We're going to kill the dragon. I would like to kill the alchemist, too, and then... Take a break. Because <clears throat> I get playing Noita on stream, I get I after a couple hours, I need to stop and go play something else because I start losing focus. <clears throat> That's how I play video games. Pretty much typically is like I don't sit and play the same game for a very long time. I switch around a lot. Oh, uh, wait, we have our refresh up there. Okay. Um, well, I don't have to carry this on us. Let me just pull the triggers off of that. <laughs> We're not going to use that. Get rid of that. Yeah, I start getting clumsy when I play this game too long, and then it's time to take a break or switch to something else. I take a lot of breaks when I play games, like, off stream, but usually I force myself because I'm streaming to just, like, not do that. I've always said I'm gonna, like, start taking breaks and stuff. But then I never do. Uh, on stream. Oh, whoops. <clears throat> Might as well grab that again. I'm also probably going to use a trigger right now instead of... The timer. I'm going to hold on to the timer, though. All right. No take a break. Maybe I should put one. But yeah, I don't know if you guys are like that. It's just like such a very... It's not a very streamery thing. That's why streaming is kind of difficult for me. It's always been... 
difficult for me because I'm not somebody who sits and like plays something for hours without taking a break for at least like, I don't know, I get up and do walk around or eat something or whatever and then return to a game, even if it's like a five minute break. I'm constantly doing that when I work on videos and stuff, you know? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Blah. Sorry. I have a custom BRB screen with a five minute time built in. I try to remember to use it. Yeah. Uh, I found out that you can start a run with diminution by eating some homemade mystery fungus and puking on the skull in the desert. Yeah, exactly. Mm hmm. You don't, I mean, you make a lot of it at the Desert Skull, but you can also just make enough diminution right next to the lava lake in the mines, and those bones there. You could just puke on that, get a little bit in there uh, that way, because there's that right next to the, you know, here's the lava lake, and then the, the dense rock goes down next to the brickwork, and it has, you can kind of collect some diminution there to flask it. And as long as you have just a little bit in the flask, then you can uh, shift something into it, maybe. All right. Well, I want... I, do I want homing rock? I want the homing. So let's probably pull that off there. Uh, I'm going to keep one regular spark bolt. Materials. I want to hold on to the material stuff. I'm going to... I need to build, like, a, a home base at the tree, I think, or someplace. Dump some of the stuff that I want to use later. I'd like to keep the rock, too. We definitely want one of these for later. Uh, not that they're extremely rare, but it's like if you throw it out and then you're late in a run and you need a bouncing burst for like a damage wand, then that's when you don't find one forever. You're like, what the hell, man? Where are all the bouncing bursts? Um... Guess spark bolts are easy enough to find. Or this, I'm not going to use that. Alright. Too much, too mana inefficient. Alright, let's go take that stuff off. Maybe I should go down to the previous. Yeah, let's go, or not, the next holy mountain. I wish we could still five wand only to drag, to grab wands and bring them to the next holy mountain in cases like this. I don't want to be able to fight with five wands at once, but it'd be nice to be able to just like grab one and shove it into a holy mountain. Why has no one in the community made that list available to the pub public yet? What, like, uh... Like this. All the cauldron, cauldron void days are the same every year. I guess maybe I haven't particularly made a video just with that info, but I feel like the video is going to be 10 seconds long. So I haven't bothered to make another video with like more information like that because it's just... Here. I don't know what else I would put in that video. Yeah, there are tools. Uh, cauldron forecast. There's also, like, on the Noita Discord, look at the... in the eyes room, or the... Uh, eyes room, or the cauldron room, has a link. It's called the Emerald Tablet. It's a document that somebody's put together. Gonzo, maybe multiple people maintain it. And it lists all of these websites that have really useful things. Or for Noita, anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, Cauldron Forecast. Um, 
And then now also we have the, for the eyes, Lim made a Python script and Gonzo uploaded it there that can tell you where all the eyes are in any seed. So we, we don't have to go searching for the eyes anymore. You just, you know, it, it will tell you the, the coordinates. So you'll have to check your save file, your player file, your location, or I guess you can use a mod that tells you where your, your coordinates at all times. But then you have to disable that mod and everything in your save in order to get the eyes to appear. Or you or be on main branch and use the uh, uh the mod that turns off that mod check, you know? Um I do kind of want more blood, actually. Let's see. This is gonna be a longish run though. Am I going through New Game Plus loops in this run? I don't think so. I think this is a purely New Game run where we do as much as we possibly can in New Game and having more blood would allow me to get more of this liquid and material that I need to mess with for alchemy. So I think getting more blood will be okay. I could always get rid of it if it turns out that I don't want it. I'm breathless. And saving grace. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Steven. Stick around. Hang out. Look at that. It's like, no, this is my spot. <laughs> All right. Now. <laughs> hey, Vexilus. What's up? Yeah. So the way that I find my coordinates in, in Noita is basically, you know, like this seed, uh, the the eyes are located at like 20,000 or something. I think it's, it's kind of up in the sky next to the EDR in Eastworld. I know where they are kind of, and all of the eyes are like in that same spot. It's crazy. Uh, so, whoops. Um, so the way that I find my coordinates is just opening the player file with notepad plus plus. And then here's your coordinates right there. And then all you gotta do is just like, you know, close it and reload it each time to get your coordinates. Uh, homing holy bombs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, but the thing is, I don't, what am, what am I getting rid of here? I want this. It's very important. I want to try casting that in a lot of places. Cement is one of the materials we need for AP. Chunk of soil. I want to be able to spawn soil. I need to soil myself. <laughs> Should put the P right next to that. All right. Explosive projectile, of course. Oh yeah. Let's get the. Let's get rid of this and get the dragon wand. Uh, <clears throat> screw that. Okay, so. Uh, too much good stuff. And then this dormant crystal we're going to use in order to create our own hub, basically. So we're going to do the sun quest or we're going to create a sun underneath the... I forgot who did this. Some There's somebody in the community who does this a lot. And this is their idea building my own hub underneath the teleporter room we're gonna build we're gonna create the sun down in there in the edr and uh to keep the that area loaded in memory all all the time so if we have the sun there it will never unload that chunk and then i'm gonna use dormant crystals and just spray them down there uh and connect this area to the teleporter room and then whenever I need to teleport back to that chunk, I could always just use spells to black holes and it will teleport me back. It'll break these and teleport me back to that chunk. And then I could access the teleporter room from anywhere in the world, you know? And then I want to dig out my own tunnels and hollows for all the materials we get and just create pools of different materials to experiment with. Or we could use Call Me. But it's closer to the teleporter room. That's the thing. I want to be like right underneath the teleporter room. 
build my own little uh little home down there. All right. But But, okay, well, let's sell this, and then I gotta put some other spells on a wand. And come back down here. Angry. All right, let's check that wand first. How you doing, Vex, by the way? Hope you're having a nice weekend. All you guys. Hope your weekend is going well. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Well, that made things a little bit more interesting right there. Um, damn, I want all this stuff. What the hell, man? Well. <laughs> Did somebody ask for Tentacler earlier? I don't want to do that. Okay. I can just shove these on there. We have enough mana just to save space or make create space. We should have plenty of mana. That's fine. All right. And Dan, we got a piercing for Dan. Good stuff. Now, do I want this wand? I think the uh, dragon wand is better than that. About to play some League. Nice. Very nice. I've never played League, but my ex-girlfriend was really into it. And, uh... Nice. Explosions. Through her, I ended up watching some streamers who would play League all the time. And then Arcane is... I can't wait for Season 2 of Arcane. Aw, oh, man. Hell yeah. Well, have fun. Ow. Damn it. Oh, hey, look at you. What is that you got there? Oh, looks like a firebomb, maybe. When <clears throat> Does explosive detonator work for that, too? Uh, I don't think it will work from that far away, but I don't know. We'll check. It might. I think spells to black holes or spells to... Ooh, well, that was a bag. I need to get a, a powder pouch. Ugh. I think the spells to spells will work from any range. But. Hmm. Goodbye, Uko Skeevy. All that for just gold? I don't need the gold. Whatever. <laughs> That's fine. Only one chainsaw found so far. No, um, no Lumis. It's unfortunate. All right, so yeah, that one's better. Give me all the blood. Yeah. 
Uh, new spell idea. Portable mini sun. Hmm. Specifically for a portable chunk loader? Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. I message solving magic bullet. Oh, yeah. Wasting so much of this stuff. All right. Nice. Grab that. And I do want that. Let's see. Can I? We need infinite heals, and then I'll add that to there. Let's see. What are we going to make on here? This will be our secondary wand. Secondary attack wand, I mean. Uh... I guess. Okay. Timer. <clears throat> okay. Do 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 fifty eight forty There's no way that this is going to Yeah Okay and then what is this explosive bounce yeah chaos magic I got Venomous Curse. I'll take Venomous Curse as well for up here. Really delete that mana that that wand has. Beautiful. All right. All right, let's go. Up to the Alchemist. So yeah, I thought that the Void Days being the same each year was an ominous notion. Due to it suggesting stuff has to be done on specific throughout, wait, on specific throughout a New Game Plus run. Specific days? Yeah, okay. Uh, normal amulet can be achieved in New Game Plus 1. And nothing currently requires a New Game Plus 28 run. Yeah, just your own, your own drive or whatever. You, you want to get anything unique done I, or not unique but whatever anyway yeah yep uh that would be a nice backpack wand wouldn't it for my teleport i mean my black holes okay well um so here. where'd that wand go there it is it blended in for a second i was like did it somehow disappear Well, we're soon hopefully going to have infinite black holes. Uh, is there enough? Now let's see if we can sell this right here. Come on, sell it. Please. There we go. All right. Whoop. Yeah, perfect spot. Best bard. Was working on a new mod and it was brought up. A what if idea that... Frogs. Man, I don't really have much HP, do I? I was forced to kill the heart mage we saw. Because he picked up a lightning wand. Let's get out of here. Let me kill the alchemist. <clears throat> Expanding sphere didn't have a size or damage cap. That would be cool. Yeah. That's why there's 
I don't remember what mod it's from. Gram's Things or Apotheosis. I think it's Gram's Things. Has the... Uh... Didn't I already dig up? I thought I did. Has an expanding... Crap. Ah, oh, no, you killed them! You jerk. Has an expanding modifier that I like to put on Omega Saws. But it does have a lifetime. But you can increase lifetime of it to create like an Omega Saw that's as big as the screen, pretty much. That's fun. What's after Omega? Like, we have... Hello, sir. Come, or er, madam. Wait. Please, sir. Do I have enough? No! Oh, God. Why? Why must they always get set on fire? Do I have any way to mm, save you? <laughs> Not really. Go down there. Save yourself. So you can save me. Yes. Okay. Get out of here, ice. You're drowning? <laughs> Damn it. Ah, fine. But we're gonna have infinite heals soon. I'll just use one of the heals in the holy mountains. I saw the chest, but it's fine. Anyway. Yeah, so that modifier, I forgot what it's called. It's like growing projectile or something like that. Uh, it's real fun. It's a fun one. Wait, didn't? Ah, we're going to have infinite black holes too, so. It's just fine. As long as I don't teleport into lava. <laughs> God. Okay, more worm gas, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it drops pretty quickly. Yeah. Oh, well. Spell duplication goes after Omega. I mean, like, Giga. Giga Omega. Like, what would be an even larger Omega? That's what I meant. Sorry, I was going to explain what I meant and I forgot. Ultima? Yeah, I guess Ultima would be good. Uh, whoops. Dope saw. Oh yeah, wait. I want to go. Last letter of the Greek alphabet. What? Omega? Maybe literally... The Dark Sun, but it will have a limited lifetime. See, I... Don't like... Uh... I'd prefer the Dark Sun and the regular Sun to only exist as things you can create from the, uh... Wait a minute. Blah. I'm gonna dump some spells in here from the those secrets. I don't want spell versions of any of everything. I get really one of my things is like I like when things feel special in games. I don't know. Like it matters, but I really do. So I wouldn't want to have a spell version of everything. I don't want to be able to create like even Omega Black Hole and Omega White Hole. I'm like, eh, 
Like it's cool, but I, I, I don't know. I like when things are unique to certain whatever. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what are we doing here? Well, I don't need the notes yet. Let's just kill the alchemist first. Although, actually, I need to pick up spells. Hopefully. Hopefully it drops a few that I would like. All right. We're going to drop Omega Sol right now. We're going to drop Plasma right now. I don't want to drop this just in case something happens and everything disappears. If anything, you know, it's a unique spell. I don't want to lose it somehow. Lo drop that. We're not going to use that for a while. This is a run where materials are going to be very the utmost importance. So rock is not necessary. In fact, I might not even use rock at all anymore. I wish very much that rocks were you could still pick them up when they first added the rocks you could pick them up like uh like any other physics object it was great imagine making homing rocks or rocks with any uh modifier but especially homing and like being able to carry around a homing rock with you that would be too incredibly op They'd have to remove rock from the uh, pool of spells affected by unlimited spells. Whoops. But. Okay, we made it. It's going to take forever to kill him. I should have put plasma on this. I could maybe. Oh no, I can't. And can't edit. Cannot edit. Damn it. We get to actually fight him. I like actually fighting the bosses sometimes and not just one-shotting them. <laughs> like Tapio's Vassal. Ow. It'd be so nice when that thing, when you can't just use Ambrosia against it. I hope. this yeah omega yeah let's get all of these suckers all right cool <clears throat> twist his dick oh my god what mobius mugen infinity yeah i like the uh ultima maybe i don't know wait i was just kind of asking that question just in case just in case, I don't know. Or like, just a theory craft. What, uh, you what we if we had a bigger saw spell? Because we already have Omega Saw, and then with that modifier, you can create a saw blade the size of the screen. It's gigantic. If you do increase lifetime on it as well, at least one increase lifetime. And then I think. Graham's Things or Apotheosis, I'm pretty sure it's Graham's Things, has a stationary saw blade spell that you use with a trigger and it just like sits in place. And then you could put growing projectile on that with increased lifetime. And then you really get a giant 
screen size death zone. Um, <clears throat> Judging by his damage taken in the crotch, I think we can tell his kink. <laughs> Man. No, you can't kill him with the tablet. You can kill the the alchemist with the uh the eye, the evil eye though. If you're good at dodging the uh his projectile attacks. He produces a lot of slime, especially we have, you know, more blood. Uh I used to practice that a lot, just killing him with the eye. And it's tricky. But once you practice it, it's not too bad. The The worst part of it is his projectiles are like very telegraphed, you know. But the worst part is if you don't have electricity immunity or an Uko Skivi, then the lightning spell he casts will electrocute you with all if you're inside of all his slime, you know, slime blood. So if you're going to do it early game, it's nice to have like an Uko Skivi so you're immune to electricity. Stationary saw blade belongs to more stuff. Okay. Okay. There we go. But that's fun. Stationary saw blade with growing project. I think it's called growing projectile. And, uh. Mm. Hmm. Well, I guess get rid of these. GG. All right. And increase lifetime. Stack multiple increased lifetimes. And I don't know how hard is it to make an infinite, uh, if it's possible to make an infinite stationary saw blade. <laughs> oh, man. Or I guess just an infinite omega saw for that matter. Because fun. Oh yeah, I collapsed this one. Damn. Damn. Yes. Okay. So let's see. We're gonna... We don't need all these anymore. How fast is that? It's fast enough. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep the tentacles on here. Why not? And then, uh, okay. Plasma egg. Let's go to the, whoops, wait a minute. Mana, I haven't seen any mana, that's the thing. Wait, let's use, yeah. Swap those around. Okay. And then... Uh, that's going to one-shot me if I hit myself with that. So let's take that off for now. I <laughs> think that would be a good idea. And then... Uh, we don't have any immunities, huh? No fire immunity or anything. We don't have enough mana for to use Omega much if I want to spam anything. Oh wait. Um hang on. Let me just go down to the eye room.
<clears throat> and I could always use that as my teleport wand. That's yeah, fast. Damn. Blah. All right. I'll be right back.